Your grow report starting off with the drought monitor. No lack of moisture, in fact, slowing the harvest up in many areas this last week. And now things back in full swing as we see an improvement once again this week in Kansas. 91.5% of Kansas drought free, 8 and a third percent abnormally dry. And then there's a 1% moderate along. I-70 there and just outside of KC, Nebraska on the other hand, one more week as we see absolutely no drought in the Cornhusker State. Well, the Climate Prediction Center showing their outlook as far as precip is concerned for the month of November. Above normal precip, the southwest corner of Kansas and normal precipitation for all of Nebraska and most of Kansas. As far as temperatures are concerned, if you look at this in a 10 degree uh, range, the darker shade of orange, let's just say for an example, the western half, western third of Nebraska, temperatures about 10 degrees above normal. The western third of Kansas, the same, about five degrees above normal for a big share of Nebraska and Kansas. And as you can see, all of the U.S. for the month of November predicted by the Climate Prediction Center to be above normal in the temperature category. Three months out, November, December, January, normal precipitation for Nebraska and Kansas both. And then three months of temperatures. Looks like it's going to be a warm winter with temperatures above normal for all of Nebraska and Kansas. In fact, a big share of the, the U.S., especially the northern northwest part of the country, temperatures well above normal expected for the winter months. Well, our week ahead looks pretty nice. Tomorrow temperatures will climb up near 70, 58 on Tuesday, Halloween 56, and a rain-snow mix, that possibility in the forecast for Thursday night may be lingering on into Friday morning. So this is a winter storm system headed our way, one that we will have to watch and see if that changes up for the better or the worst, or if it will be a trick or a treat coming up towards the end of the week. Normal highs should be around 60. We're going to see around 57. Normal lows 36. And we're going to average right around 38 in the week ahead. So pretty close on track. The proverb this week, if we don't get our Indian summer in October or November, we will get it in the winter. Well, this weekend, pretty much Indian summer-like weather indeed. Tomorrow, no exception to that. So we'll see what the winter says. Of course, the Climate Prediction Center says it's going to be pretty nice. That is your Grove Report for this week. Join us again next week as we watch things grow. The thunder rolls with an FFA convention to remember. More than 65,000 people attended this week's National FFA Expo, including President Trump and Garth Brooks. The country star put on an exclusive concert for FFA students and guests. As for the president's visit, it's a tradition of the National FFA organization to invite the city and president. However, it's been since 1991 that a president appeared in person. The National FFA organization provides leadership, personal growth and career success, training through agricultural education to 669,000 student members who belong to one of more than 8,000 local FFA chapters throughout the U.S., Puerto Rico and U.S. Virgin Islands. 
And that, of course, includes more than 180 chapters in Nebraska. And from the local chapters we talked to, it sounds like they had a great time in Indianapolis. What's the big meat debate about? We will explain. And a video you won't want to miss beating the boredom during those long days in the field during harvest. We'll be right back.